Okay, here we are with the white wolf. Where's that piece of debris that was right next to us? Has it drifted away that far? Damn. Damn, son. Is that it? Holy crap, is that it? Nah, it couldn't have gone away that far. No, here it is. It's behind us. Set it as our... No, wait, that's Dalek Khan. No, set... Unset tar Okay, yeah. Unset target. No. Why is... What? Okay, it's called the Sh Shriker Unknown. There we go. There we go. We've successfully set it as our target. Where is our target? Relative to our target, we are moving at 17 meters per second. Damn. Oh, there it is. Up there. Okay. All right. Let's... Let's... Let's stop our velocity relative to target. Yeah, I know we're going to we're going to do this the wrong way. Now we're going to point straight at it. You're normally supposed to do this when you're getting much closer. But we're going to just point straight at it. Build up uh, 100 meters per second, well, close to 100 meters per second. Then we're going to turn around to slow down once we get closer. Because, you know, you don't want to run into it. Especially when we have crew aboard. Especially when we have Jeb aboard. Gosh, wouldn't want something to happen to Jeb. But yeah, let's just wait for ourselves to get up there. I'm being wasteful on the fuel because uh, we have plenty of it. We have more than we'll ever need. In fact, this is a, a good vehicle, I think, for orbital operations. Uh... Except for the lack of lights. I might just make a small variation to this design as a new vessel and uh, add some of that stuff to it. I think that'd be nice. Okay, come on, come on. I want that perfect spot on. There we go, close enough. And... Oh! Okay. Ten meters per second seems safe, right? Ten meters per second. Doesn't sound all that big, turns out to be quite big. Oh, oh, oh. Open Gangnam Style. Okay, right. Time to start doing things by RCS. Actually, no, let's cancel out her velocity first. Actually, let's go ahead and shoot at them a little bit. That's good enough for me. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna use RCS here. Close shield. Now the question is, should we try to push them with our front or our rear? Now I'm thinking we need to push push them with our rear. All right, let's go ahead and line up with the horizon. Since that's kind of how they're lined up. Now rotate. All right, now turn around. Oh, nope, not that much rotating. Okay, we're building up speed away from them, I think. Yeah, so let's stop that.
Now if I now let's see, up should be down and down should be up. Yep. Nope, that's down. Up is down and down is up. However, uh, left and right are still the same. Right? Yeah. I had to check. Alright. Should be lined up pretty well. We are lined up fairly decently, except for a small bit of, like, rotation the wrong way. Okay. Nope, stop sliding. Should run into them in a moment. Nope, down, down a little. Um, up a little. No, oh, that's the wrong way. I just noticed I'm not using the docking controls. You know how they added the special docking mode? Not using it. Don't need it. Turning the wrong way. It's very hard to dark dock dark. It's very hard to dirk with something that's the uh, that you can't actually dock to. I'm learn I learned that myself. All right. We have the closest to a solid connection we'll get. So now we're just thrusting with the RCS to bring our periapsis down. Hopefully this will work. Kind of scared we're slipping off. Seems to be working though. We're falling pretty fast now. I'm, I want to go look at the map view, but I'm scared to lose this configuration we have here. So, yeah. Let's see if we can actually make this thing turn a little. I don't know, can we? No, it doesn't look like it. We're just going to have to be stuck at this position, burning this way to bring it down. Kind of unfortunate. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the map real fast. What is our periapsis? Our periapsis is 60. 60. So, this is working. It's working ever so slowly. <laughs> now, we're doing this the most inefficient way possible. I'm gonna try seeing if I can make it rotate. Okay, we made it start rotating a little. That's could or could not be a bad thing. I'm gonna say it's probably a bad thing. Hold on, let's hit time warp. Because now it's locked in place again. And let's... Okay, our relative velocity, let's get that fixed. Shit. Ah. Nope, not that way. That way? Okay. 
We're slipping away from it ever so slightly, but it's all right. We got this. Let's just point our ass at it. Okay, now we're slipping down. Right, my controls are still the same way. Good. That's good. Okay, we're lined up enough this way. Let's line up just a little bit more that way. Okay, we're going towards it. Okay, let's go ahead and bump into it. All right. Hopefully we can finish deorbiting it this way. Yeah, like I said, very difficult to dock with something that you can't actually dock to. Yeah. Let's see, we should... Well, we're already in the atmosphere right now. So we're already technically losing speed to atmospheric drag. Not that much, of course, but... Uh, what's our periapsis? No, that's apoapsis. Periapsis 49. Not quite good enough for me. We want to drag this down to 30, perhaps. But yeah, as you can see here, it is possible. Cool. <laughs> Didn't think it would actually work. I was afraid I was going to spontaneously explode. You know, cause some sort of glitch to explode or something. You know what's funny? We could actually probably deorbit this and then return to orbit. I'm not going to do that, of course, because uh, we just want to land. We just want to leave. I love how we pumped, remember how I pumped all the fuel into the other one? <laughs> that was so dumb. Or was it this one? Maybe I pumped it all into this one. I don't remember. I kn I'm pretty sure I pumped it in this one on second, on second thought because, because I decided that I would test the abort system on the other one because this one would have all the fuel so this one could come rescue them if it excuse me if it didn't work so yeah it's gotta be but yeah we're in the atmosphere pretty well now at some point there's probably gonna be a dangerous moment if I keep going the way I'm going right now I might decide to just thrust ahead of it right now not sure I kinda want to I'm a little scared. I'm not sure. I should, um, let's see. Orbital speed. Dropping s ever so slowly. Surface speed. Dropping ever so slowly. Oh yeah, you left click this thing. Uh, in the, you can't see my mouse. The artificial horizon to see your speed relative to different things. Orbit, surface, and target. You click it. Left click it. And, oh, what? Oh, no target. Huh. Something about the barrier. We, we passed a spot where now it's not going to show that as a target. Okay, I'm going to boost away from it just a little bit because we are, we are low enough now. It's not going to be a problem. Oh, yeah, so now it's time to use our own eject system. Should I go ahead and use the eject system or do like a regular... I kind of want to just use the eject system, just because it's pretty. And because we can see that stuff just shoot off away from us. Ah, oh, so pretty. Alright, let's go ahead and bring, bring us down. Bring this crew back from their long and hard mission in space. Actually, it only took them a day. What is that, a day? Yeah, a day and 32 hours. No, wait, that's one hour, 32 minutes. Excuse me, you guys haven't been doing shit. We're rotating a lot. Let's cut that. I know the pilot loves angular velocity, but the others... Uh, actually, Hinman, Hinman Kerman is cool with what's going on. Tongbin looks a little, uh, little unsure. He's like, guys, are you sure this is... Are you sure we're doing this right? Do you know what you're doing? Pilot, do you know what you're doing down there? I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I don't, I don't like how fast we're dropping. Oh, this is not good. 
Oh, hey, atmosphere meter. Oh, I might want to drop our uh, warping a little. Nah, we're at 30 kilometers. We can handle a bit more warping. What's really going to suck is if those two pieces of debris don't actually decay. Oh, dang, the chute's deployed anyhow. Okay, well, at least they deployed safely. I was kind of scared that while I got lucky the last time, that the chutes, when they deployed this time, I might not get so lucky. So, glad for that, I am. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. There aren't any, but let's turn them on anyhow. I'm going to go ahead and watch this land the regular old-fashioned way. Or something like that. I don't know. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space. Why do you keep doing this?